Welcome to the MVP. It's the Man's View Podcast. You heard we back yeah. again yeah. to give you the podcast that only we can give you. What's happening, fellas? I'm chilling. Y'all know, like every week, I, I am joined by my esteemed brethren. You know what I'm talking about? We got the boy G, aka Rich Spirit Man. What's going on, man? <laughs> what's up, now? I'm chilling, man. I'm chilling. What's up, man? Then you got Book back with the whack Wi Fi. What's happening with you, Big Dope? I'm cool, man, but you need to reverse your intro when you introduce him because you said I'm back with my esteemed brethren every week. You should have said my name first because Greg ain't here every week. But, you know, I ain't not here no there. I ain't not here no there. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's about uh-huh. the setup. It's about uh-huh. the setup and how you introduce and where you attach shit first. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Now, how you said with the book, it would have just rolled off the back. You know what I'm talking about? Uh-huh. But see, now it's like it brings into doubt like your your validity and what you be talking about. Nah, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, every week, nah, you know, whether it's one brother, it or two brothers, or three brothers, I'm here with my brothers every week. Your your title is 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 whack Wi Fi, so that's doubt right there. So that's, that's not that's what I'm with the choppy choppy. That's what I'm with the choppy choppy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> well, when, when and the they ain't got nothing to do with my perfect attendance. Though. That's that's about the choppy choppy. You know what I'm talking about? Not not the attendance, the choppy choppy. You know what I'm saying? I'm just happy we get to do this every week. We get to yeah, 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 be here, baby. People enjoy love us when you talking want, every love week. When you, want. you know what I'm talking about? Talking Absolutely. this stuff that only we can talk because nobody talks it quite like us. You hear me? Um, G Money, man. What's up, man? What's going on, man? I, I don't, I don't know if you got a, you had a haircut last time, man. But yeah, no, nah, no, nah, I didn't, man. I had to. It was getting hot, bro. So I. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get cut, man. But um, yeah, I've been good, man. Got a got a new job coming. Um, hey, congrats! Start, uh, appreciate it. Start on the thirteenth, man. Doing what? Uh, working with the youth in um in Waco, man, for a nonprofit organization. So I'll put the link in uh in the so chat. You so. don't work with the VA no more. Um, I do, but on the eighth is my last day. Eighth of June is my last day. Oh, so you actually quitting? The quitting? I thought. Yeah, I was on. I put my two weeks in and everything. Yeah. Oh shoot, yeah. man. Oh, no, 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 no. That nigga leaving, leaving. What? Yeah, that nigga leaving. Quit. I didn't know if it was like they an extension of the VA. You know, they got different. They got different um programs and stuff. I didn't know if they it was do. Like, yeah, they that. do, man. But I, I wanna. Uh, I mean, it's a local, uh a local nonprofit, man. They got. They got an office in Waco and then they got one in Corsicana, but I'll be working at the one in Waco and I'll be working with you from from kindergarten to 12th grade, man. And just really just trying to show them basically like there's other ways to do things. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because of their demographic or because they just don't know shit like, you know, they don't you know, you got to you got to educate them, man. So uh, my title is behavioral health intervention specialist, but. You know, I, I'm gonna be teaching and stuff and working with youth, man. So, yeah. What I, what I like is, you know, what I'm saying everybody got different personalities. You, Cody, T. I right. mean, we got some fellas that's real good with kids. Book yeah. good with kids too. To, he to is. A he is. I don't know if you like going to go coaching and stuff like that. I don't know if that would be in like your like your frame because you know. What I saying? think I'd be a tremendous coach. I think yeah. I think book would be a good. I think you would too. That's why I, I know. I, that's why I didn't yeah. want to throw it on him. Like I didn't know. Yeah, yeah. That was uh, thing. I, I, I was trying to incorporate him into, it, but at the same time, be like, ah, I don't want to say it too much because right. like, I, <laughs> I, I just wanted to make sure before I went there. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, I think we got some guys that's real good with that. Me personally, I'm not no kid person. You hear me? I'm just no. It's AD. Yeah, AD. Yeah, the kids clearly don't clearly not. <laughs> clearly not. Clearly you know not. what, man? I, I think Adrian surprises, man. I mean, I, I don't know how his kids gonna react to him, but I, I think um I think he'll surprise us just on how he's dealing with with kids in general, man. I, I can't wait to see that. You know what I'm saying? I, I think he no, I, I'm not talking about father stuff. I'm talking about just no no, no yeah, like, just like, like, with kids. How he is yeah. with kids, though. I yeah. think I think he'll be cool too, because they like they, they interact with him differently. So I can exactly. be that's, cool that's what I'm saying. I just yeah. Me personally, I don't have the patience for like to be chilling with people kids like that all day. Unless I, unless you family, it's kind of hard for me to chill around people kids and all that. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm saying that to say it take a strong person to do that stuff. You know what I'm saying? To go in there and talk to other people yeah, yeah, kids absolutely. and you know what I'm saying? Make sure they're on the right path. So you know what I'm saying? I commend you for that. You know what I'm saying? That's some dope I stuff. I appreciate it, man. And, and yeah, it's just it's, it's more predominantly with 
you know what I'm saying, the the black and, and Hispanic, you know what I'm saying, youth in um in Waco too, man. Cause they was like, Do you speak bilingual? I said, Man, I said, No. You know what I'm saying? I said, I took Spanish in high school. I said, that's about it. And they was like, nah, we'll help you, you know what I'm saying? But but yeah, man, it's just you know, to be honest with you, man, like it was um it was a lot. It, it, one, like I said, y'all know my supervisor is a bitch. But beyond that, um, you know, it, it really just, man, like I, I just I felt like a, I always wanted to. And I always think about my mom. Yeah, and you know how my mom is, man. Always. Yeah, she really crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah and it was just like, man, like, like, do I really want to continue to help people that I know can get help and abusing the system? Or, or help somebody, you know, with kids that, you know, come in at, with their innocence, you know what I'm saying? And they don't really, you know, kids don't get to choose their parents or their circumstances, you know, a lot of times. And and whatever I can do to help out, you know, I'm, I'm definitely- Say that again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, you know, no. I'm just- uh, yeah, No I'm choice. Excited, man. I'm excited stuff about with. it. That's, that's dope. That's, that's super dope. I, I didn't even know that, man. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna, I was gonna, you know, like I said, it was gonna be, you know, I was gonna let y'all know, but yeah, it's it's a good, uh, good nonprofit, man. And you know, I think especially with the the network I already got within the VA, been being with them almost ten years now, like it's, uh, you know, I can definitely use that to my leverage too. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely gonna do that. Dope. Book up. What's new with you, man? And uh, none. Trying to. Get healthy, sick and shit. Tis the season mm -hmm. to be under the weather. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? And then Greg out here all cap talking about it's hot outside. If it was that hot, nigga, you join the club. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If if it was that hot, you take close, it all off. Close, but I, I'm trying to hold on to it that much. I don't know. I'm close. Mm -hmm. I ain't bad at it, bad at it, bad at it. Nah, um, shoot, man. I'm chilling, man. I ain't got yeah. Ain't too much happening, man. Um Quiet week, quiet week, quiet, quiet, very quiet week. Yes. Uh, I had, uh, Greg, uh, What's up, damn, man? had I shared with y'all? I'll share with the people. All right, so um, I had called Franz mm -hmm. and showed him this message, right? <laughs> Hold up. Let me give you the big screen for that. What message? Uh, <laughs> come on. Okay. I had, uh, I, I had saw France earlier, uh, sometime this week, right? Yeah, and um, you know, and somebody has sent me this message, and I thought it was hilarious, I, I really did. Mm -hmm. And um, because I was in, I was, I had forgotten all about this, all right. So the message stated it was in, in, in the fun adventure rooms, right. <laughs> And it was a different person who was talking, though. It wasn't me or nothing like that. It was just, mm -hmm. I told you, people be looking at me for whatever reason. Like, they be spying on me and shit like that. I told y'all all already. Spending in there. You, you, <laughs> well, I've told y'all all, I, well, I've, I've told y'all this all before, that, you know, it don't just be models that be looking for me and sending me crazy mm -hmm. DMs and PMs, right? PMs is private messages. So, um, I said, it'd be the, it'd be the, 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 the ones who, who celebrate my arrival as well into the oh, rooms? Wow. You know what I'm talking about? That that be like, man, can you can you can you tip for this? And man, ask her to do this. Like, bro, uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted her to do this, I'd have said do that. You know what I'm talking about? This ain't about you. I'm talking about can tell her to suck a big toe, man. Like, bro, that don't turn me on. You know what I'm talking about? That ain't my type of tea. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't my forte. Oh, wow. So, um, that's funny. But somebody has sent me this message. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not recent or nothing like that. It's recently sent to me, but it was just, yeah. I said, damn, man, I don't been telling people about this shit for so long. I never had the files, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know, I got the picture, said, but I don't hey, know if your I, name on it. What? No, no, what? no I, I got one where I blacked it all out. I'll let you put it up here. Okay. Um, but, uh, fuck, I wish I could read it. Damn, I wish I could have read it. Uh, but anyway, it was saying something along the lines of, I'm paraphrasing y'all, and Franz can insert yeah. it right here. But I'm paraphrasing. It was something along the lines of, for those of y'all that like the website Gossip, mm -hmm. um, your boy has relapsed and is back with his one true love. 
Uh, <laughs> and they what? put this in another performer's room that I had been frequenting. Okay. Oh, so they and was hating you. They was hating on you. Exactly, Greg. It's not appreciation, brother. It's depreciation. You know wow. what I'm talking about? <laughs> and it's a nigga that I see all the time. Every time you, I'm in you, there, like you, you talking huh? about in the chat room, you see him. In the chat room. Like, oh. no, everybody could see it, Greg. They weren't just hating. Like, they was, oh, my God, man. It was blasphemy, bro. I'm not going to lie, dog. They was talking ill on the God. And I'm like, I knew niggas was like this, but I didn't know they was like this, though. You know what I'm talking about? Now, I didn't know they was doing, like, that type of talk in public chat. Maybe in a private setting, one-on-one, -on -one, yeah. where nobody else could see your messages. But everybody Except for you and the performer. No, no, all however many users that was in there that day saw this message. Uh, and everybody know my name. These niggas know my name. They know what it is. But I was uh, like, man, what, 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 what are we doing? And I was just like, well, damn. <laughs> on, That's strange. Like, what? why is niggas worried about what my dick at? You know what I'm talking about? But, um, yeah. I, I, I really found that to be, uh, I'm glad I ain't on there like that. But I was just like, you know what? That, that shit right there was crazy. And I was like, man, I wish I would have had this when I first started talking about all of this fuckery. <laughs> to, mm -hmm. But now I have the proof. Now y'all have seen the proof when niggas yeah, be hating yeah, on man. It don't make no sense. I shouldn't even have blacked his name out. I should have let y'all niggas see that nigga name. <laughs> oh, hating this nigga, man. Real, man. that nigga famous. Like, Greg, I, I don't understand, uh, bro, for the life of me. I just thought that was funny. Like, it was just random as hell. I got mm -hmm. a damn Snapchat message, and that's what it was. I'm like, what the fuck is wow. Oh, niggas, wow. it's big hate. Big hating, all right. That's what I'm talking about. Niggas That's out here, big man. Yeah, man. Hey, bro. That that man. means you some right, book. You know that. Greg, you know what? I know I, I know exactly what, obviously, I know what room it came from, and I know what performer they was talking about, uh -huh. because I had Is this the been, main, main? The the one in, uh, what's it called? Oh, yeah, numero, numero uno. Yeah, uh -huh. numero uno. You see, I, I had to switch dialect. Uh, they they trying to cut that off, bro. Yeah. They trying to slide yeah. in there, boy. Where they asked me, they asked me if I'm bilingual. Siempre. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah. Pasa la tarjeta. Entra la yeah. número clave. Yeah. Amo más. Es todo. Watch yourself, man. Hasta el otro semana, mañana. Yeah. You know what I'm hey, saying? I'm already That's all I know. That's all yeah. thanks shit. I don't, I don't really know <laughs> much. You know what I'm talking about? Entiendo. Uh, I think that's, you understand? And then, you know, I know, like, compliments, like, you know, uh, how you look and shit like that. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I was like, boy, these niggas is reckless, man. But, mm -hmm. mm -mm -mm. <laughs> but you got damn right I would relapse for that one. That's why I don't be on it. That's the one that got my, that's the one that got me in that six-figure area. You got damn right. <laughs> man, yeah, man, you need some, you need baby, some land you in, 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 uh, in Colombia or something for that. God damn. Yeah, man. I told y'all, man, after so she said, I'm going to you know what I'm saying? Something. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie, man. Make, make, sure, guy, make bro. sure mine had a stamp, though. Make sure mine had a stamp. Mm -hmm. a stamp with mine. Bro. After T so easily said that I'm the reason why she got new titties, I, I that should have told me right there that I don't need to be here. <laughs> one, one, once I was told that I paid for the titties, I should have been like, mm. <laughs> it's nice titties, too. It's nice titties. But after that, once I was told that, I should have been like, oh, yeah, I should be oh, here. Yeah, yeah. Up, yeah. I That's should definitely not be on this site. But yeah, man. man. Uh, other than that, man, I shared like little funny highlights and stuff like that. I can't, I can't share this other story just yet. Okay. Um, I got, I got to check, I got to check somebody else's temperature first. Okay. And then I can, um, then I'll know. Then I'll know. Okay, we back. I'm back up on my thing. I'm about to exit out of this one. Three. Oh, okay. right. Yeah. Yeah, man. So that's not weak, boy. That thing crazy. Matter of fact, hold on. Wow, man. I still need to go in there and get my hats, man. I was I went in the mall the other day. I, I got some more Palo Santo spray, man. So Ooh. um, I need to go get some. I need to go get some hats. Mm, okay. Um, I'll be spraying I'll that Palo Santo all next. around work, man. What you say? I'll be spraying that Palo Santo by everywhere at work, man. Man, I was off. I was, uh -huh. off, I was off. Um. I was off, what was it, from Memorial Day, and I was off two days after that because I think France is the only one that know. I think Chris, too, but I know France for sure. Remember we was talking about that muscle where it feel like something tight in your chest when you moving and stuff? Yeah. I had that again, man. That flared up. So I was out like mm. two days, man. So, um, mm. but, 
Yeah, man. Just being out there long, I was like, man, I'm gonna have to get something because everybody got keys to my office and to the basement, and I I don't like that, man. But that's just how the VA is. So, I mean, you know, fraud, just like trucks and stuff. It's the same mm-hmm. thing. You know what I'm saying? So, Murphy. yeah, yeah, but um, yeah, I had that um, my what is it called the, around is my, it my sternum? Lungs, my cartilage it got inflamed. Yes, it, was, it hurt. It was terrible. Man, that that shit hurt, bro. I, I almost thought like my heart was fucking up, man. Like exactly, was, yeah. Because I went to the ER up. on um on Tuesday right after Memorial Day, and mm-hmm. they did a EKG and they did an X ray, and it was just like, yeah, Mister Gray, you got a, a a strained muscle or something in your chest. Mm-hmm. I was like, man, like like it, it just keep coming back, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? They, so, they told me it never go away. It, it's, it's really exactly. nothing they can do about it. Yeah, you know, yeah. You yeah, yep. it's just it's just one of them things, man. But yeah, beyond that, I'm I'm straight, man. So right, I got a couple things, man. We plus talk yeah. about, man. First thing being, um, where how y'all want to go, man? Y'all want to y'all want to hit up old business to get to close out the old business that we've been holding up, or to start new business? You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, let's close out the old business. Well, Maybe that old shit. Well, we never talked about Kendrick Lamar album. We never gave mm, a, a okay. review right, or right. anything about that. Mm-hmm. I just kind of want to know how y'all felt about it. G, you can go first. I know, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you yeah. had to be all over it. Oh, yeah. That's why, I mean, that song, Rich Fear, is one of my favorites, man. Um, but I'm still trying to digest it, man, to be honest with you. It's just so, it's so much, like, I think I was listening to the Sci High um, interview, and he was just saying, he said, when you overthink so much, he said, that's, what I feel like the Kendrick Lamar album is. Mm-hmm. And he said, you know, basically like, you know, obviously he's a, he's a genius, you know, especially to his peers, but to like, to me, like, it's just so much like he was transparent. Well, I know, I think we talked about it last time I was on here too, but um, it's just level of transparency to be at that level of an artist. Like that's, that's brave, man. You know what I'm saying? That really is, man. Like, cause you know, for him to, to like pour out his heart and, and show all like share all that with with us like like man like that's that's some shit you you share with with you know what i'm saying with the homies like not 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 everybody mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying but for him to do that man it, it just show it just like i have a another level of respect for him not just as an mc or you know a lyricist or you know a poet, but just as a man, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of the shit that he was dealing with, like I'm dealing with, you know what I'm saying? Just and not in the form of, you know, being, you know, obsessed with different women and stuff, but just, you know, just in the sense of just like everyday, just shit, man. Like he been dealing with, you know. So for him to kind of like summarize that into an album, man, like I. I, I don't know, man. I, I'm still digesting it, man, to be honest with you. You know, I, I was just listening to it the other day on title, man. But and I and one thing I do got to address for me, and it's funny, he said it. And I know I wasn't mature enough because how I felt for Kodak Black when he said that shit about Lauren London and Nipsey, you know what I'm saying? After she passed, mm. like mm. I could really care less about it, you know what I'm saying? But for Kendrick being as close as he is to Nipsey and on the, on the West and, and extending his hand to him, you know, creatively and maybe just, you know, as like a, a big brother or whatever, you know, big homie, like how he said, like, he's not mature enough to figure out with, you know, how Drake and Kanye made up. Mm-hmm. I guess I, I need some more maturity too, man, because, you know, I felt like some of the shit like that Kodak was saying was just out of bounds, man. <laughs> You know, so for him to put him on an album and, and really feature him and, and everything he's on is dope. I, I can't even front on it. I can't even front. It's dope. You know, but for me, the first li- first couple of listens, I was like, man, fuck him, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? He was talking greasy about Lauren London and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Right after Nip died. But, you know, maybe I need a lot more maturing too, man. But overall, man, I, I, I love the album. Um, and yeah, man, it, 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 it really takes some time to digest it man it's like a a good book you know so mm-hmm. man what you got book uh, 
I will say. Anybody seen the N N95 video, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's yes. the only three words I got. <laughs> this shit hard. <laughs> That's it, man. Like, y'all know cool. I am not a fan of this man at all. Like, I think he's overrated. Um, mm. I think he receives a little bit too much praise and attention. Dang. This all ties into being overrated. Um, I always thought he was lyrical. I'm not gonna not gonna dismiss that notion at all. Um but this shit hard, man. I ain't mm -hmm. gonna lie, dog. Like <laughs> this fucking album, like from start to finish, might be one of the greatest pieces of work I have ever heard in my life. For me. Um when I said I didn't have like a skip bone in my body, man, <laughs> this shit was beautiful, brother. Like the 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 ones that I wanted to hear you rap on, you did that. Like I'm I'm a beat man, so yeah, yeah, you know yeah. the the beat for me sets the tone of the song, and it's up to you to match that. Mm -hmm. Um. I don't know, man. Anytime I hear Ghostface on the track, bro, I just want to cry for some reason. I don't know what it is. Any, any, any track with Ghostface Killer, man, it just makes me want to cry. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? My but uh, it, man. because oh, of the Mary J yeah. joint, him and Mary J, like that, yeah, that, nah, that yeah. one right there is like one of mm -hmm. the most fuck with your heart and your eyes, <laughs> like type song lying. I heard him up. But um, oh, yeah, audience, oh, go yeah, listen yeah, to man. Fish Scale. Go listen to Fish Scale. You know what I'm man. saying? Like I think, well, I've said this before. Like I think he's one of the most underrated, and he's in my my top ten. Period. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I think he's, to me, I think he's the best one. He's not the most popular one, but I think he's mm -hmm. the best one out of Wu Tang. Mm -hmm. Um, that's just me though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's I it's, agree. it's top three is un undoubtedly is him, the Ray chef, and, and Meth. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I don't, I don't think that's nobody can say that, but. Like as far as the lyrical prowess, it's between him and Raekwon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, but we absolutely. know the most popular is obviously M E T H O D. Man, like yeah, we know right, that. Right. Um, and that's no slight to him either. But man, back to to Kendrick shit, man. Like you know, even the one where you know uh, the the arguing track. I wanted to write down the the, the names of these. We uh, I think it's we cry together. We cry, like yeah, boy, like man. We cry together, something like that. What? Dog, like. To, I was laughing so hard, but listening so much. Exactly. You know what I'm yeah, for real. <laughs> and I was like, nigga, how do you think of a whole argument and then make it rhyme like from both sides of the thing? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's the the little interjections, obviously back and forth. But like, I should have mm -hmm. fucked your what? What is it? She I said I should have fucked one cousin. of your relatives. Your, your cousin, cousin was your cousin. Your cousin yeah. Uh -huh. What? I should have yeah. fucked your little dick, nigga. Like all this shit. <laughs> like, she said, I should have fucked a bigger dick or something. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Yo, yeah, man, man, I was loving all of this. Man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like, like he put together something. He put together something so fucking phenomenal, man. And I mean, y'all, y'all have said this before though. Like, but he always like that. No, he's not. Not, not to me. He ain't like that on everything. But you know what I'm do saying? Do me a favor. And, um, do me a I favor. Just say, I appreciate it. What's up, do bro? Me a favor. Now, nah, cause you you been through a lot. You 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 know what I'm saying? The world's changing. Go back yeah. and listen to some of that. I think you're gonna feel different. Well, okay. I mean, well, I, I I guess my question is to book two. What haven't you heard from him, or what has just? I guess yeah. What haven't you heard from him? Because you've heard now, you've heard pimp to pimp to pimp a butterfly, and you heard damn right. Whoa! All right, good, so Good Kid, um, Mad City, Section Eighty. No, he. he uh, I know Good Kid, Mad City. I remember him saying Good Kid, Mad City. Yes, and damn, yes. I downloaded the pimp a butterfly. Never pimped the butterfly. Okay, I so didn't even press play yet. I didn't even press play yet. Eighty two. You know what I'm saying? And like, I told y'all why you I didn't like. Good. Well. The reason why I didn't get that album in the first place when it first came out is because I did not love myself. No, I love myself, oh, yeah, but yeah, the singles, that, the that song, right, I just right, thought right. it was 
Yeah, I thought it was cheesy as hell, popcorny. I was like, I don't like that. Like, I understood yeah. the message, but I'm like, that shit so that's so trash to me. And yeah. then, um, there was another track that everybody was feeling that I was just like, it's all right. We you know what I mean? All right, you didn't like. There that. you go. Yeah, like I was like, it's all right. You know what I mean? But okay, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Like, we gonna mm-hmm. be all right. Like, that's I thought hard, that was man. like, I'm sorry, that, that's all hard, man. <laughs> I just felt like a lot of that was like just uh you know I I just wasn't like you know what I mean yeah, I was feeling when Kendrick it. come out man it's it's a lot of to me it seemed like what the world going through and I think oh, yeah, time, like, a lot of people me, he, he had a yeah, lot of stuff that was going on people what yeah. they were showing like the stuff that they were showing it, it was seeming like people wasn't really caring for themselves like that mm-hmm. and then we had stuff going on like that happened and then we had uprising and marches and stuff that that we gonna be all right was like the the soundtrack to all that shit. Yeah, you know what I'm it's still, it's still a soundtrack. Yeah, so I just think he, I don't know. He almost prolific with it with the way he come with stuff yeah. like you need. He's always timely. Like this right here, everybody in a mental. With it, what you say, name? Libra? I see. I yeah, see I'm Muslim diplomatic Libra. and idealistic. Meaning, mm-hmm. I don't lie. <laughs> I don't lie, but I listen. I don't lie, but I listen. I feel you know what I'm saying? I just, I just didn't like it, man. I, I get what y'all are saying. I'm gonna have to go back truly and just listen. Yeah, just um, yeah, just start from the beginning, man. But I, I think for you too, but from you know what you've been going through, I think Section 80 might hit a little different. Mm-hmm. Um, you know what I'm saying? But mm-hmm. yeah, I think Section 80. I mean, to pimp a butterfly too, but Section 80. I would say listen to it in that order. Listen to Section 80, and then listen to Pimp and Butterfly. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, you know what? Because she, I know she don't watch yet. So um, she, yeah. she'll, she'll watch if I watch, if I tell her to watch it. All right, so peep this. Um, shout out to my parents. I wasn't even going to share this story. Um, you sure? Shout out to this. Huh? You sure? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I think you should wait. wait. Wait one more week and see. I don't, nah, I don't, nah, 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 I don't wait. Nah, I don't wait it out. It's good. <laughs> exactly what you're talking about. Nah, don't it's do good that. one, Greg. And I'm like, yeah. niggas, y'all really? This how you okay? <laughs> nah, don't do that one right now. We, we, we'll see. I want to know, God dog. You know what I'm we'll, saying? Yeah. He'll let you know. Everybody want to know. Books yeah, I want, all right, all right, cool, everybody cool. want to know story I got. <laughs> but uh yeah, I'll hold on to it. I hold on to it. I'll, I'll yeah. pocket that one. I just don't really want to forget it, but I don't think I'm gonna forget it. But yeah. I'll remember. I got y'all. I got y'all at some point in time. I got you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're gonna wait. Trust me. Trust me. I, you know, y'all know I like him to tell the stories. It should be funny to me. But this one, I'm gonna just wait for a second. You know what I'm talking about? You gotta, you gotta make sure first. I don't want to mess the stuff up here. So we're gonna, we gonna do that. <laughs> Sometimes mm-hmm. you gotta protect your you protect your partners, you hear me? You're right. But, uh, You're right about that. But nah, man, the Kendrick Lamar album, man. I, I I'm just seconding everything y'all said, man. I thought it was a great album. I, I liked it. I'm a fan of Kendrick Lamar, and so to me, he kind of do no wrong. Um, and then it's so deep, like how Greg said, it just takes so long. You can't. It's not one of them. I, I listed it today, and then I'm I'm over with it. Like uh, you can listen to it five different times and hear something new every time. Like yeah. Just one of them things. So, yeah, um, very true. I thought it was great. I thought it was a great body of work. I'm gonna keep on listening to it. Absolutely. And that is what it is. It's gonna be one of the albums that you listen to all year. Like it's not just for the the, the moment. Yeah. Be one of the ones you keep on revisiting and going back to. I like it. Yep. I like it a lot. For sure. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. That that felt very weird to me just now. What? What's that? I'm drinking tea, mm-hmm. and I got two bags in here, right? I got one is um ginger and honey, and the other one is ginger and lemon. And I ain't okay. gonna lie, man, the tea bag just hit me in my nose, and I ain't like how that felt. <laughs> and it just made me think about how they was talking about tea bag and shit. Wow. And I'm like, yo, how that feel? Like <laughs> that ain't that, I don't I don't like no, it. I don't no, like it. We're not we're not doing this. I never want to experience that in my life. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie to this. No, no, uh-uh. I got too many friends in the LGBT <laughs> plus Q, I, I, all of them. Nope. Nope. Man. I, I just hit me though. No, no, like for real, for real. It literally just like no, we it, it we my nose. <laughs> no. And I did not like how that felt. And I was just like, I'm, I'm not with that. You know what I'm talking about? I'm not Man. I didn't really no, have to experience I don't I don't I don't really have to experience it know that that ain't something for me. You know what I'm oh talking about? Gosh, but 
Yeah, I, I just it just came to me like that because I know like when we on the game like back in the days and we was playing Call of Duty like we would shoot somebody and see bag the body. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? <laughs> so. That, like, that was real big on Halo, you know what I'm saying? Because you can oh, still yeah, see yeah, yourself, yeah, yeah, you can still yeah, see man. the person on top of you. You be like, oh no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo, I don't like that. Nah. I'm about to buy oh, my whole cut, man. man. Like, I don't like that. They like that uh, let, let me move yeah. on, man, before mm. you know, we get in trouble. Um, it's some good tea though. Yeah. The tea good. Like <laughs> the last old there. business I, that I, I got. I like that. I'm glad. I'm glad. Last old business that I got is uh we didn't we didn't do a versus recap at all about uh, UGK and eight ball MJG. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, okay, okay. Man, just real, just real quick. It ain't got to be long. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just want to see man. how you feel. What's going Luke, on with you? Can go first because I, I went first last time. So ah, I'm not gonna lie to you. It started nope, off too nope. slow. I refuse. I refuse. He ain't from the south. Oh, hell no, nah. you ain't going first on this shit. Hell no, nah. you get your ass back. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, you got it. Now, Go ahead, this, Go ahead. this personally was like, uh, let me see, let me tell y'all how it was. I came home, I came home late that day. Mm, uh-huh. Didn't even take a shower yet. The, the joint said it was coming on. I was like, yep. well, I might have some time. The DJ spent for like five, ten minutes, and they came yeah. directly on the stage. I was like, oh, yeah, shoot. You ain't lying. They was on there. Oh, shoot. I got to sit here funky for the whole thing, <laughs> but it's cool. <laughs> Eight Ball and MJG is about to put on the show. You know what I'm saying? So I'm watching from the first song to the last song. I was in heaven. Man, It brought me back to my uncle's car, ride with my uncle. It brought me back to... The candy paint brought me back to the pimp court. That's Y'all it. remember the pimp court? That's it. Two Watch out now. Back, you heard me? Watch out now. That that by shook the whole car apart. Watch you know out now. I had a yeah. '94 Ford Escort green, mint green. Hear you, hear you around the block. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I called it the Green Goblin or the pimp court. You heard me? <laughs> that boy had a, the, the the stereo system cost more than the car itself. That boy was fresh. That's 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 no cap. That's no yeah, cap. That's, right that's the truth. <laughs> Beating down a block. You know where I got the stereo system from? Hmm. Uh, Stefan worked at at Walmart, right outside of the snowball stand or some shit like that. And uh, we was going somewhere, and I pulled up on him. And some dude was like, "Bro, I got this stereo system I'm selling. I know he just popped somebody trunk. I know it. <laughs> but you know me. How much you talking? I'm telling you, yeah, bro. Yeah. I got I got a hundred dollars on me." Franz is you know what I'm saying? Deal. Yeah. I pop trunk, he threw it in my trunk, he take your hundred dollars, and I know what come after that. I need to leave now because you're gonna <laughs> steal it back. So I dipped out. You hear me? Nice stereo system. I know uh, he paid whoever did it paid a grip for it. I got it for a hundred dollars. You was not lying about it that. It cost boy. more for me to pay Tim to install it <laughs> than it did for me to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man. the next year. Brought me back here in UGK, yeah. where he <laughs> to hold it down, and I like how he played most of the, all the pimp verses. You know what I'm talking did, about? He did. He, he paid major respect to the pimp. Absolutely. And I as loved it. As he should have. Uh, it, it just, it just felt good. And then hearing a ball and MJG, knowing how smooth the big man is. You know what I'm talking about? That yeah. boy was always so smooth with the way he, he laid his lyrics, and then MJG come with that. That you just, know what I'm saying? He just came with that adrenaline, like his exactly. flow is still time well, like, today. Do, do, do. Yeah, <laughs> he, he just looked like if you play with him, I'm a, he gonna jab you. He like one of the yes. niggas, like yo, don't get too close to that nigga, man. He might jab you just off GP. If he just, you know, what I'm saying a, a bug bite him, he might steal off on somebody. Just chill, yeah. don't stand next to him. Um, <laughs> but it made me feel so good to hear that shit, yeah, man. Yeah, that was yeah. that was my growing up right there. That's what I heard all the time. It, yeah, it just felt I, good. I, I can't. I, I know how book feels now when he has the ones where it's, it's New York. It's New York. I'm like, yeah, nah, yeah, this, yeah. This yeah is, that was definitely this one the me. South. Absolutely. So, excuse me, book. I ain't trying to hate, but I can't let you go first on the South. You know, so yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. let you. Oh, yeah, you, 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 you did right by that. I can't. Right it just didn't that. sit right with me. You know what I'm talking about? What I'm saying ain't gonna sit right with you either. So, I'm glad you went first. <laughs> I'm glad you went first. I'm glad you went first. Now, who, now, now, now you can go, Boogie. Go ahead and go get, get that out. Yeah, because Greg, Greg can make everybody feel good about it. You know what I'm talking about? Because uh, I didn't, I don't have them. I have one Not disappointment, mine. but I, I think Franz know my disappointment too. Well, 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 I ain't got, I ain't had no disappointment. Oh, what you thought Jay Z was gonna come out to Big Pimpin? 
No, 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 no. I, I just personally oh, okay. wanted big I wanted Big Crit to be there. You know what I'm saying? That was my only thing. You know what I'm saying? You want Big Crit to do what? Up. I want Big Crit to be there. You know what I'm saying? To That's how what? close he is with Bun. And, and he had a song with A-Ball and MJG too. You know what I'm saying? So I thought yeah. he was gonna do Money on the Flow. Two chains came out. I thought I thought he was gonna do Money on the Flow. You know what I'm saying? So that was my that was my only disappointment. But that's just a personal, you know what I'm saying, for yeah, because I love Big Crit. That's all. Well, see, I I wanted Zero to come out just to sing the hook, see? but I knew I was like, he's just coming out for the hook. I don't see him doing that, but nah, I, nah, yeah, like, I, so. I didn't think so. Nah, yeah, but, but, but I didn't I didn't think Jay, I knew Jay won't come out for that. Yeah, I mean, I would have been surprised if he did, but I think everybody yeah. would have. Yeah, yeah. I, think everybody nah, I would have expected in, him more than in Atlanta, right? A lot of people talking about Andre 3000. I was like, ain't no way Andre 3000 coming out there. Hell no. Yeah, yeah. But, but it was in Atlanta, right? One yeah, it was in Atlanta. Atlanta. See, and, I, and that's yeah, the only right. reason. I think that's where Big Crit State, or he, well, he be in Atlanta and Los Angeles. So I, I was like, man, mm. it makes sense. So mm. that was my only thing. But beyond that, yeah, I loved it, though. Well, go ahead, Book. Let, let me let Book get in here, man. Let me let Book get in here. So, uh, I'm get in and get out. Uh, kind of exactly how I did when I was watching it. I got in and I got out because it took so fucking long to speed up and amp up. It just felt like I was bored. I'm not gonna lie to you, man. The crowd was so goddamn dead. And this is I to your point, about France. The crowd. This is to your point, France. Mm-hmm. Pimp. All right, Bun B playing all the pimp shit. Mm-hmm. The crowd ain't saying not one fucking thing back. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, y'all, come on now. Like, y'all, if the niggas that was in there should have known that that should have been that 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 was gonna be the vibes. You yeah. know what I'm talking about? Like, fuck what I say. I'm gonna play this man stuff, and I need I need to hear y'all say it back. Them mm-hmm. niggas was quiet. No, nah, I think I didn't you enjoy couldn't that. hear them though, man. If you watch it, they had a lot of people going off. Even Chico it Bean did. was going crazy at the beginning. Yeah, I, I saw Chico, Chico was. was. I saw yeah, I just it. think you couldn't hear. You couldn't pick them up on like how you normally picked up the crowd. I don't uh, think yes. you could pick them up. Yeah, I think the production, I mean, whoever crazy. did that, France, like hey, you man. said, like whoever had control of, you know, what I'm saying, I guess. Sound. The sound, like yeah. I mean, I don't want to just put it directly on the sound, man. Usually, you but, pick up a little bit of crowd noise, but they it, they sound as low man. as hell. It, I mean, it sounded, yeah. but I, I got what you man. saying because I, I was it's, I had to look back it's at the it. Same production too. crew versus huh? got the same production team, but, same but, production but, crew. But but with um with with Jade with uh Dipset and the Locks, man, I heard. I mean, beyond them just being on stage, <clears> but you could hear them. Like when they was when they, when but they had said, uh, and and the locks were saying they, they had a couple weeks to prepare for theirs that maybe um, that's JG and maybe that's um UGK only had four days. Oh, okay. It was well, only four days. That's all they, they only had four days to prepare. Well, it seemed like the production crew had four days too. Then it was sad. Yeah, I don't know what was up, man. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have no mics, like no hidden mics set up in the audience, like yeah, stage yeah. above. Yeah. Like I, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, but like just like when. He was playing it, and I didn't hear nothing. It took away from me. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie to y'all. And that's why I felt like it was dead. So, um, of course, a lot of them tracks, I don't know. You yeah. know what I mean? Nah, I, huh? I don't know them songs, yeah. man. <laughs> like, he, he don't, man. I'm not a historian he didn't live there too of music. You ain't from I'm, not a, no, you got no no, I'm right. not a I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not a historian of Southern music. Now, um... <laughs> I, I do know starships and something. Uh, oh, no, the eight ball joint, eight ball joint. I like that one. Like he didn't play that though. <laughs> well, he didn't play it while I was there. I put it like that. You know what I'm talking about? Um, they played. It. They, played they did. They yeah, played, they he played, played that one. Yeah, I'm gonna go back one. and watch it. See, I'm gonna go back and watch it now. I'm gonna <laughs> go back and watch it because I want to hear that. Like yeah, I do. Like, like from an individual standpoint mm-hmm. of who they are. Like I love each one of their flows. Right, All right. I think that boy MJG got one of the most underrated flows, rhythms, he is, he is. Screens, yeah, and it's so fucking polished. Like mm-hmm. I love when that nigga rap. I don't care what he's talking about. He can be talking about Apple Jackson Fruit Loop. <laughs> All I care because they he can be talking about the correlation between I think the Apple Jackson and the Fruit Loops is made by the same brand and the same company because mm-hmm. they both like I don't care what he's talking about, but it's the way that he put it. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I just love it. And like yeah. he built it up. 
I love that. You like got that Buster, almost that Buster type. Yes, I love that shit, man. I'm not gonna lie. I I love that nigga. I love how that nigga rap, man. And I think, and it's not even a slight to say like he's a complimentary piece because he's not. But them two complement each other so well at how they They like you know you get some type sometimes you get groups and they're they sound great individually, but sometimes they don't blend well. Mm -hmm. Them niggas is like salt and pepper. And I ain't talking about ah push it. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about like them niggas is literally condiments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Like I've never seen a nigga put pepper on an egg, but not salt. Or at least a sprinkle. You know what I'm talking about? Like it, it's stuff like that, man. And it's just like, yo, yeah, bro, man. that that day, them them niggas is nice, man. Like I, I just appreciate them in those regards. You know, from the songs that I like. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not a historian. I don't got a discography of Eight Ball and MJ's G's. You know, whole catalog and then like that. Just like with um, you know, UGK. I don't mm-hmm. have like a catalog of their stuff, but the songs that I like, I love. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, but it was just like the crowd took away from it for a little bit. And mm-hmm. on top of that, I was tired. I ain't gonna mm-hmm. hold you. And my black ass went to sleep because I really try to fight sleep a lot of times. And my body said, not tonight, nigga. <laughs> not yeah. tonight. I had that Romero knockout. You know what I'm talking about? Like, my leg <laughs> just, <laughs> I, I couldn't make it, man. I couldn't make night, it. Night. But um, I don't want to slight them because I know it's big for the South. But for me, it's just like the crowd. It did start off slow for me just because, like, I didn't hear the interaction. You know what I'm saying? And then at first, too, them niggas was moving straight through shit. Like, they, there was no stories. They wasn't talking a lot. They were just boom, 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 boom. And I'm like, mm-hmm. nigga, y'all ain't going to talk? Y'all, y'all yeah. not going to tell no stories? Like, bro, I don't, like, for a nigga like me, you got to tell me something. Because I don't know right, nothing. Right, right. Yeah, you know they, a little so, bit. They, they told a couple stories, but I, I think I yeah, think they had to do with the like, too, I, though, you know, I understand how y'all was saying, like, it was rushed, well, not necessarily rushed, but it was just put together, like, with like not a lot of time to prepare for it. So, mm-hmm. I, I, I get it though, you know, what I'm saying? and, I, and I the playoffs it. was on, that's true, too. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I think they were trying to get through it so you could still finish the rest of the game because they know oh, okay. they, the later they, they stay, niggas is gonna turn watch the end of that game, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, man, you know what's crazy, uh. Is when I heard it, man. I was we, me and P and Emma, we was at Pluckers, mm-hmm. and uh, I had my I had my Air AirPods in, and I had one, and I shared it with P, and you know what I'm saying. And she she listened to all that, man, and like I was watching the game, but and then like I would stop when I would hear like you know what I'm saying, like I don't know, just something from UGK or something from A Ball and MJG that. You know, just reminded me of like Franz said, like just riding his escort or mm-hmm. hanging out with Marcus, or even for me, even going down to Louisiana, like how LaFrance said with his uncle, man, and just kicking it with everybody down there. Like, like it was a moment for the South. Like, I feel like the production should have been better. Um, but the <laughs> fact that in Atlanta, how Book was saying they was running through it, I think that's one reason why they really won't tell the stories. Because of setting, you know what I'm saying? Because of where they was at. So they don't they don't gotta tell the stories to people that know the music and not saying, but they're not really, you know, they're storytellers, but they gonna give it to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's A Ball MJG, that's UGK. They're gonna give it to you, you know what I'm saying? So I just ding dong just lit up in my head. I remember something I gotta tell y'all. Yeah, yeah. This for everybody, this for everybody. What's up? No, 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 no. When, when, when we move on, when we move okay. On. Oh no, we, I mean we good. We, we I'm good. I'm good. We said yeah, our piece. I love. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So peep this. Um, this ain't even sorry, No, 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 no. This is just a mid, 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 mid show intervention. <laughs> I was just think about this because um I'm thinking about today is my day off and I'm trying to figure out why this nigga ain't woke up and came out that goddamn room like I know you ain't taking a sick day on my motherfucking day off. You know, talk about because for one, like nigga, I like to walk around. You know, talking about sometimes if I get out of the shower, I just want to run around butt ass naked. You know, if I want to, because ain't nobody here. You know, talking about like I know of all days you ain't taking today, sick nigga. Damn. <laughs> so this was crazy. This was crazy. Y'all gonna appreciate this. So earlier, earlier this week or last week, something like that. Mm-hmm. It was after we recorded on the podcast. This, this all I know. It was after we recorded. 
Um, <clears throat> dude comes out, and uh, I'm in the kitchen, getting ready for work. I'm in the kitchen. I'm making a smoothie, right? And uh, he was like, hey, man. He was like, man, we've been living here for about nine months together. And I don't know your name. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, and he was like, man, people hilarious. ask me all the time. He was like, people ask me all the time, man, who are your roommate? Wow. He was like, man, I don't know. I just know he work at the A pod. And I was just like, he's like, man, what's your name? Wow. I was like, oh, man, it's Dwayne. And uh, he was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. And I was like, but you just called me D. And I was like, I swear you knew my name, though. And he yeah. was like, nah, man. I He's like, I couldn't, I, I, I don't remember it. And I was like, okay. I was like, man, I ain't going to lie to you, brother, since we on confession hour. I'm like, brother, I don't know your name either, man. <laughs> I, I still think all I know was it start with oh, R. And I was like, I think it's Ray or Roy. I was like, I just don't know which one. And I'm like, I can't be like, what's up, R? You know what I'm saying? That's why you always hear me say, what's up, man? What's up, bro? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's like funny, synonymous man. to just, you know, a neutral salutation. Mm, but yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah, man, but which one is it? He was like, it's Ray. I was like, okay, at least I knew it was either or. Like, yeah, this this light skinned nigga that work at the A pop. Like, <laughs> I still don't know what the job is. You know what I'm talking about? But that's oh, cool. I don't even know that. But that's I just thought crazy. that was very funny, man. I was like, yo, of all times, as much as that I said on the podcast, I don't know nickname. You see how <laughs> life worked out bad and shit just come together? And I didn't have to confess first. That's what felt great about it. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? He came yeah. up to me. I'm up here waiting for this nigga to leave a badge out so I can confirm and verify his name. <laughs> and he just came up to me. He's like, yeah, bro, we've been here for about nine yeah. months together, and I don't know your name. That I felt funny. really great about that. You see, people, when you don't have conversations and you don't communicate, shit like this can't fall through the cracks. Mm. He don't know me, I don't know him, but we know That's we it. live together. That's it. That's you it. know what I'm talking That's about? Right That's it. That is Can it. you imagine hey. if I had to call 911 or something like that? Yeah, huh. what, what's his name? Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Stranger him, danger. Him you over there. there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yeah, wow. so, you know what I mean? Now I know. That now I know. Funny, well, I definitively know, you know, that it's Ray. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? At least I knew the, the, it started with an R, and I knew it was Ray or Roy. Like I said, I just didn't know what vowel. This nigga should feel bad about himself because he didn't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> that, um, that nigga didn't know nothing about me. I'm like, boy, you terrible, man. Oh, and I've left my badge out in the, in the living room many a time. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, dude, just look at it. You know what I'm saying? All you gotta do is look at it. That's all good, man. Uh, man. I, that just dawned on me because, like I said, mm -hmm. he ain't got up yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Yeah, that we ain't better yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey. I still ain't forgot about the iron, though. That ain't never going to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, I know your name not. Yeah, that iron is a problem. We got a new That's one. But it, it don't it don't steam like the other one. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Man, yeah. Yeah. Man. Uh, yeah, that was that. <laughs> hey, I got new business. We got we yeah, got done with the old business. Mm. Um, I don't know yeah. if y'all was watching the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp case. Um, uh, he had a defamation case on Amber. Heard. Nah, I saw the res I think I saw the results. Yeah, though, he think. won. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. man, Amber Heard is the old girl from um, Aquaman, the redhead girl from Aquaman. I had. Oh, no that's her. I didn't oh, know that either until I, I looked her up. Until I looked her up, and I was like, "Oh, she looked good in Aquaman. Like I like her in that." Yeah. I don't know somebody the redhead. I don't know. She looked good in that to me, and I was like, "Who is it?" Yeah. Oh, that's her. I, old crazy I ass. Him. I told Kim, I was like, what has she been on? She was like, she on Aquaman. I said, nah. And it was just so happy to be on TV. She's like, that's her right there. I was like, oh, shoot. Wow. Yo, she's big wilder. You know what I'm talking about? But what was the what was the what was the the case about? I didn't even she, I just she basically went out and told just, everybody that Johnny Depp was hitting on her and beating her. Okay. Oh, he was oh okay. I and I guess it came out that it wasn't true. Mm -hmm. And so he sued her because he lost, mm -hmm. uh, lost all kind of money with Disney and all kind of stuff like that because wow. of that. Wow. To the Caribbean is done for, yeah. brother. What do you mean? 
You can't watch and it no more. Jack Sparrows. No, I'm no, I'm talking about like newer and yeah. oh, newer ones. That, okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like extensions of it, you know, and those yeah. are actually yeah. profitable. Yeah. Like you. when you think about like mm-hmm. it took me a second to get into them, but once I started to watch them, I'm like, these is actually I like good. them joints. Yeah, mm. them actually good, man. Ain't no more Jack Sparrows. He might, he might still, he might still pop out another one. I don't see, I don't, I don't see no reconciliation. I don't see that happening, brother. Like once you, Mm. like, as big of a star that I am, all it takes is for somebody to say, make an Mm -hmm. accusation, and you Mm -hmm. don't wait for it to play out, and then you just say, "Oh yeah, we canceling." Okay, well, fuck you too. But I put like this, Greg. Any woman that just doo doo in the bed, mm, ain't too much defamation. You gotta talk to me about. You know what I'm talking about? This woman is crazy. Yes, Greg. That shit. Crazy. They, they got a video of her taking a bump of coke in the courtroom. Stop playing. No lie. No cap. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Google it, Greg. The grill took Shout a bump chain, of coke boy. in the Shout courtroom. The Shout out the chain. <laughs> like what did the judge, judge say? What did was that movie? Hear? I don't think the judge seen it. Hey, what's that movie? Um, with uh, Ryan Phillippe, uh, um, Reese Witherspoon, and um, it was some. It was a movie where um the sister I know did something like about. yeah 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 hooked Ryan Phillippe up with Reese Witherspoon uh-huh. for them to be dating and then Ryan Phillippe died yeah, but yeah, in the I crucifix you know Who's his sister cool had like co- there you go thank you like in the crucifix she had like a cocaine spoon and was <laughs> in the bathroom and then put the Come crucifix on, top back in wow. it was one of them type shits man but it wasn't the crucifix it was like I'm yo she wild she 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 wild That's for that. crazy, man. She wild. Yeah, I, I didn't know she was wild like that. I mm-hmm. I didn't know that either, Greg. Oh. Mm. Nobody ever knows. Oh, I mean, now she know. now she, you know, like I said, I mean, karma's real, man. You can't be lying mm-hmm. on folks like that, trying to say all that stuff. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I, I get it. If he did it, he did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if he didn't, don't lie to just, you know what I'm saying, just yeah. game or try make to yourself look it. better. Yeah. yeah. I put so, it in there, G. So you can see okay, okay, cool. Yeah, that's wild though. Big tripping. I just think it's a it's is a the conversation was on how nobody believes a man when he getting beat up and oh you know, okay, okay, okay. That's kind of like the bigger conversation of it, I got you. like so they, they, take granted, they look at them like you less than you weak right, or whatever. Right, right. But it does happen, man. Like, and shoot, whoever date her after this, boy, you be nobody. No, somebody gonna do it. Somebody oh, yeah, absolutely. Gonna do it. Somebody will. For somebody sure. gonna like it. Somebody, somebody gonna, somebody gonna like gonna that. Swoop in, shit you know what I'm somebody gonna like that. Shit, That's he wild. liked it. Shoot, he was still with her. Mm. Shoot, for the most part, you know what I'm saying. But yo, I, I, what I will say though, <clears throat> this nigga oh, is sharp as hell. This nigga is sharp as hell, and I don't know if it was just her counsel. Her counsel was just terrible as hell. But Johnny Depp is sharp. When he was going through his depositions, the lawyer, her lawyer was like, yeah, um, your ex-wife said that you used to drink a lot or that you was drinking a lot. He was like, was you there? <laughs> like, he was like, I, I drink. And she was like, yeah, but he was like, yeah, but a lot. And he was like, was you there? Mm-hmm. Then how would you know? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, that's some sharp ass shit, brother. I was <laughs> like, "Ooh, that nigga slick tongue nigga right there, boy. Oh, like, yeah, I like how he dismissed any notion of um you know that they try to you know cast mm-hmm. upon him you right, know what i mean right. like he he, yeah, he he's smart man yeah yeah like he that nigga smart man jack sparrow was on his shit brother i'm like mm-hmm. all right i see it and it came a long way from cry baby yeah, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> or, or what was the movie he was in and what was it edward scissors hand right one of you in that too yeah he was in that too bro like yeah man donnie depp low key is one of them great actors man i ain't he really is him. man he don't he, he don't really get his props is. enough though donnie but brosco he, yep he was boy. he was crazy in donnie brosco yeah, i like him, lying. Man. Yeah. Lying, boy. blow i like blow that too you know that's man? classic right there bro. yeah he, he got some good movies man yeah he, he do he do he do. Hey, hey. man. Mm. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. Shout out to him now. Last order of new business. Everybody has been talking about it. If you've seen it somewhere, um, Monique spazzed off on DL Hughley. DL Hughley. Yeah. yeah. I'm just getting caught up on it today, man. I just saw it on YouTube, man. I was I was off YouTube for a couple of days, and I saw her going off on him, man. What? Why? Why though? I'm trying this, to. This is why. what she said when she came out there. She said that 
in her contract, she was supposed uh, to be the headliner. Okay. But when she got there, she found out that they were trying to make her go on before the headliner, which was D.L. Hughley. Okay. So D.L. Hughley said, if I'm not the headliner, I'm not going out there because this is what my contract say. So she blamed him instead of the promoter. The promoter is the one that fucked you. DL, DL just said, I'm, I want you to hold up to your end of the contract. I, if I if I ain't going out last, I'm not going. That's exactly. what my contracts say. That's what I'm doing. That's it. Yeah. I'm not and trying she, to mess my money up. You know what I'm she saying? She got mad. And then she came out today and said, because uh-huh. DL sure. Hughley came out there and kind of said the same thing. Like, why is you mad at me? Kind of stuff. Oh, okay. like, why is you talking about my family? Mm-hmm. All this stuff. It made was no she sense. talking about his family and stuff? Oh, stuff? she said she said something like your wife sucks a coward's dick or something like that like she was she went crazy for 10 minutes she talked about this nigga and then threw in tyler perry steve harvey she threw all the niggas in just everybody in there man what's up man somebody need to give monique some help she, man like for today real, man. What's she, up said, with her, man? she said she was already coming it. to talk shit about dl she said dl was already gonna get it because of previous stuff that happened so mm. that she felt like he disrespected her. And what was the previous stuff? She was on the show. This I, I, I got caught up with all this, so I'm gonna give you all the context. Please do because mm. I'm she went, yeah. to, she went to DL Hughley show. Okay. Um, well, stand up. Them did an interview. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Um after the interview, DL Hugh where well, at the end of the interview, DL Hughley's co-host was like, mm-hmm. Do you want to play a game on the she said, Yeah. The, the co-host said, um, would you rather have your husband uh, fuck Lee Daniels with a condom? No, fuck Lee Daniels without a condom, or would you rather him fuck Superhead with a condom? That was one of the questions. So she said... Superhead? Like, what you talking about? But this is where it got tricky. Her husband go both ways. I didn't know that. The husband gay. So I oh, mean, he, he, go, he, he buy he go so both he's, ways. He's bisexual. He's okay. bisexual. That's gotcha. the most political way of saying it. So, uh, in the grand scheme of things, <laughs> it's not a bad question to ask once you think about it in that context. Because she made the ones that said that he's bisexual, right? And plus, it's a comedy show. It's a show where you talk serious, but you still have fun at the same time. Absolutely. Yeah. The context of it makes sense, mm-hmm. but she didn't like. She said she didn't like that that somebody would ask him that and all that. And then on had her show, mm-hmm. you know, her husband go both ways at the show that she had. She called DL gay. She said, What DL stand for? I guess you be bending over a whole bunch. She called the man everything she probably wow. did. Everything. And then she tried to say it was jokes. That DL, was jokes. But DL is not the one you want to come at with jokes. But like Yale is so smart, first and foremost. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And he is he knows his shit. You I mean, I, we all know that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but she should know that too. She in the comedian realm, like DL. You y'all have to anybody that's listening, y'all have to watch go to what DL said. And I look, I'm I don't have a dog in the fight or whatever like that, but I believe what DL usually said. He said yeah, she just burned yeah. everything, and once she oh, don't get man. away, she burned everything down. He's like, she's the queen of ashes. Was she Daenerys Targaryen? What, what was her name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Dr- uh, Dracarys. Just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, it's just like it didn't make no sense. You know what I'm talking about? Wow. But she came out there when I first initially heard it without any context, uh-huh. and she said, "Well, I'm the headliner, and my contract say this." I was like, "Well, then, shouldn't you be mad at the promoter?" Like what does DL Hughley say? He DL Hughley said if he's not headlining, he's not going out there. So you just I tell mean, him he's you're not headlining. So I guess you leave. I mean, if that was your contract said, I just never understood why she was mad to begin with. Mm. But that's what she said. And wow. there's a lot of talk going on around about that, man. How y'all feel about not hearing all this shit that's been going on? Go ahead, book. Huh? So you no. good? Because I've I've been talking through it. You go ahead. Um, uh, well, before I even say about that, I take back what I said earlier. Like this nigga ain't woke up yet. 
It is now 3.30 in the morning. I forgot we started recording an hour earlier than the norm. So he still might he still might get up out of here on time. You, know, about, nigga, not, you better not be here. You, know, talking about, you better not be here. <laughs> nigga, you better go to work. So um, I just thought about that. I was like, nigga, what the Oh, damn, my bad. It is early as fuck. So <laughs> he's safe for now. Um, mm-hmm. with DL and that man, um, this is bad look for the comedy world this year, boy. You know what I'm talking about? Like, them niggas is taking all type of L's, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit getting mm-hmm. slapped on stage, getting attacked on stage, like one and the same. Now mm-hmm. you got comedians going against comedians, talking shit about one another, sex life, and sexualities and all this other shit like it's just retarded man like y'all mm-hmm. niggas need to come on and get better than what you are right now and on top of that it's the black community man like we just look so terrible right now you got black prominent actor coming up there slapping another black prominent figure <laughs> then you got it is mm, mm-hmm. i don't know what's going on bro i really don't man I, I really don't. I, I I think it's despicable. It's disgusting, man. I just <sighs> Monique been on some other shit ever since she stopped being Miss Parker. You know what I'm talking about? Like she just she's just been wilding. You know what I'm talking about? Lord knows. Then she she was precious mama. You know what I'm talking about? I think that's what did it right there. Like she like, really acted like precious mama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, she's she on some other shit right now, bro. Like, yeah. and you know, like people always talk about how shit go to your head. She is definitely one where the attention or the clout or the 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 is he froze. Yeah, I think he might be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was waiting for. I thought he was just paused. Man, like, that's a good question. <laughs> like, man. <laughs> 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 uh, so he's just still looking like that. <laughs> you need to put that as the cover. You need to put that as the cover of the show. Oh, man. That's hilarious. That's man. funny. He coming back on the other one. Hold up. <laughs> he just frozen over there. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, God. Yo, man. if y'all can see what I see, like, this nigga look crazy. Look at my shit. That's how I look right now. That, that's exactly how we were looking at you. We was like, I was like, man, book froze, bro. Okay, now I look like you good. You, you good. Nah, it, it, a little echo stay on your phone, man. You, you, you skipping over here. Uh, I got you. Oh yeah, yeah, you skipping? Yeah, I see. That's too yeah. funny. We we well, thought you took like, like we thought you took a pause to say what you was gonna say, and we was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was rolling, I was flowing. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah. So I don't even know where I froze at. I just looked up, and there it was. Um, I know I was saying something like she's one of the ones where it just goes to her head, like you know, yeah, um, you froze it, yeah. All right, yeah, so, you know, ever since then, man, she's been on this this rampage of I deserve and, you know what I mean, y'all gonna respect me and, nigga, I'm precious mama, you know what I'm talking about, and <laughs> I just, you know, she, she want more than her just do, you know what I'm saying, like, let's be real, you, you ain't, I'm not saying that you ain't been grinding and putting in the work, but you mm-hmm. ain't been that for that long to be thinking that you deserve this, that, and the other. Mm. Um, you know, as a stand up or, you know, uh, a professional female comedian. Yes. Mm-hmm. You wanted them once, you yeah. know what I mean? But let's not be mistaken here. I like some more and more. That's just me. Um, it's just the shit that she talk about. She nasty. I like, I like, I like hearing <laughs> shit. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, mm. I just think you need to take a step back and sometimes you got them hype men in your ear your hype women or whomever, somebody in her corner leading her and telling her the wrong shit. And that's what it's, that's what it's looking like to me. And it's making a lot of bad moves. Now, what I will say is 50 is trying to bring her. I I did see that. Like he's trying to bring her on one of the, um, one of, one of his shows. I saw that. I Um, saw that. I think that is dope. I think Mm -hmm. that is dope. I agree. Um, to kind of let her talent be showcased. Cause I, I mean, I'm not saying that she's not phenomenal at by no means. All right. But she's not getting the opportunities. And a lot of that is because of your mouth. You know what I mean? A lot of that, you shooting yourself in the foot. All right. 
So, you know, she just kind of needs to, you know, get in good back in the in, in the film industry and stuff like that and then do what you're going to do. But like, don't don't sell yourself short by by, you know, dispelling all notions that, you know, I'm better than that. I'm not doing that type shit. Like right now, right. you ain't doing much of nothing. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And in order to be able to do something, you got to start back over. And I think that's something that she's not willing to do. Um, I think it's about to be the same, you know, not 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 to take away from this man either, but um, it's about to be the same for Will. You know, I mean? it's not going to be as easy as he once thought it would be because you got that stain on your name, regardless of all the great things that you've done. Who's yeah. going to be the one who's going to be the first one that wants to be associated with you? So you got to keep that. You got to take that into consideration. I can see Monique, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, he's yeah, one of the first, but I'm just saying, like, still, who's going to be the one that want to put their name and their money behind that? You see what I'm saying? Mm, Netflix. That's who. Nah. I, I think, I think he's going to, um, you know, what I would like to see, honestly, is a, a stand-up. Um, I know Will, He he's a, a, a actor, but he's a mm. comedian first. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, I mean, I can't put that past him, you know what I'm saying? Because he's, you know, he's a comedian who is an actor, you know what I'm saying? Um, mm-hmm. And maybe, or maybe even have, you know what, or even like, for me, I would like how 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 David Letterman or like, you know what I'm saying, like Drink Champs, like a platform like that, like say like Martin Lawrence would, would interview Will and it's just them two, you know what I'm saying? And they aired or something like that. I think that would be beneficial to get his side of the story, and just unapologetically. You know what I'm saying? Because you know what's crazy to me is he just went away, and you know I I think I saw uh, a headline, but I need to I need to watch it. But I don't have fa- I'm not on Facebook, but I think Jada Pinky was talking about it or something. Mm-hmm. I I mean I know y'all probably can tell me, but what what was she saying on there? Because it was a big headline on the hip hop site that I was you know what I'm saying. All cap, Greg. Really? So she won't truthful on it at all? Has you ever been? I, I I can't say that. She's just saying that she want both of them two men to put the stuff behind them and give them some kind of re- reconciliation. You know what I'm talking about? To get it together. Okay. And then and then real quick, do y'all feel like it was staged? Because I've been hearing that a lot too. No, I, not not at this point. You think it, 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 it wouldn't make sense to? I, I mean, it, I don't. It lasted don't, too long to be staged. Exactly. Like, I don't. If it was staged, uh, yeah. Nah, definitely. It'd have been like a ha, gotcha. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. But yeah, yeah man, that that's my hope for for Will and and you know and even Monique too, man. Maybe have somebody I don't know, shoot, like Queen Latif. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that's respected. You know, like just have a sit down with her, man. Tell your side of the story or something. You know what I'm saying? Like, shoot, mm-hmm. one of them go on drink champs. You know, something, man. I don't know. I, I, I think Monique. Um, I just think she was, the, how she handled the stuff was kind of wrong. You know what I'm talking about? Like, even if you thought the situation was wrong, there's different ways to handle that. You know what I'm saying? I listened to Corey exactly. Holcomb, and yeah. Corey Holcomb said, um, "I'm paraphrasing." He said. Somebody with talent prioritizes their talent above the little petty stuff. He said stuff happens right. all the time when, in the game. Mm-hmm. He said he said she said all that, but he yep. said she ain't had no jokes. He said where was the jokes at? He said people came to hear the jokes, and you know, Corey, if you listen to Corey Hogan, you know he said a lot more stuff. But this the tame version. He said basically, exactly. where is the jokes? Right, they went right. to a comedy show to see jokes. But and see, that's why I like Corey Hogan. Like I don't know how ten minutes or so. Yep. There was no jokes. He's like, uh-huh. he, he basically said she ain't had no jokes. And he says, you got to listen to Cole. He said, man, he wild, bro. Your cheesy comedy. And she's like, no, nobody care about that. No. <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, she used to do the stuff like, oh, I sat on you. I passed gas. Ooh, ooh, child. They were going to have me die laughing. <laughs> but hey, uh, she ain't got no jokes. Man, so Corey, wild, super, man. But I I'm Hogan. not trying to bash her or nothing like that. I just thought she went yeah. about it the wrong way. It just I didn't I didn't like it. It just looked yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. And to I say mean, all that kind of stuff like that, 
And if you had a problem with them, why you wouldn't why you waited to get on that bigger stage and talk shit about yeah. it? You could have did it on your podcast at the like house, you said. Live, said yeah. what you need to say, but to do it at a show, that's I don't know. Yeah, I, think, I thought it was a little tacky. I yeah, could understand yeah. if he did it to you and you was just returning the favor, but mm. this he talked about he was all in his feelings. You the one seemed like you was in yours. I didn't like mm. everything she do. She tried to turn it to him, like, uh-huh, uh-huh. and then she, and then one thing D.L. Hughley said is she weaponizing um, black women, like, you know, what I'm saying you got to stick up for black women and stuff like that, and I, I believe in that wholeheartedly, but you can't course, put that absolutely. up every time somebody does something that you feel is wrong, oh, man. Yep. and yeah, it, it's it could have been anybody, it could have been D.L. Hughley and another comedian. And D.L. Hughley is going to tell them same things. Tell them the same yep. thing, I believe. I'm going last. Yeah, this is what my contract said. That's it. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think yeah. that was a women, a man thing. I think it was, this is what I, this is what I was told. This is why I came here. This is what yeah. I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it is what it is. But that's all I got, man. What, what Tariq, did, did Tariq say anything about it, Cross? I didn't listen to Tariq about that. But okay. it's crazy you said that. Tariq, yep. yesterday... Uh-huh. Walked up on a guy in LA and had like 20 cops around. Dude, this one black yeah. guy. Yeah. And it turned out to be designer. Designer was up there. Yeah. He Are didn't even serious? know it was designer, but he, he walked up to him. He said, You all right, brother? Yeah. And dude said, He's like, Yeah, we all right. And, he, and then he started talking to the cop. He's like, This is a lot of weaponry for one man. Like, wow. whatever. But it turned out it was designer. And so, shout out. We ain't heard nobody get shot or nothing like that. That's cool. Tariq That's be good. everywhere. Tariq be you ain't lying. Me, LA. Yeah. Ain't, that I, that I, nigga I like Ant Man, Frost. You know what I'm huh? saying? <laughs> yeah, you ain't lying. He pulled he right up on him with the phone out and everything. Like, Man, he 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 does not care. You know yeah, what I'm he just said he just said he posted like yeah they surround this black man and somebody was like that's designer and he had to go back. He's like I didn't even know. he's like he didn't even notice that was designer yeah. right there. Yeah, like, twenty cops around him. That's cool. Yeah. Man. He, <laughs> Yeah, he went. He wasn't doing none of that. He wasn't doing that. <laughs> that black man, boy. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. But tonight is Thursday, June second. Yes, the the game is about to start. Game one of the NBA Finals. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, mm-hmm. Booker, go and get us up out of here, man. Mm-hmm. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment to this podcast. Keep it moving. Keep it growing. All right? Follow us on IG at the MVP underscore podcast. Leave your likes, your shares, you know, ideas. Hit us in the DMs. Let us know what you're talking about. Let us know what you feel. Email us at mansviewpodcast at yahoo.com. Do the same thing. Follow us on Twitch and Facebook Gaming at MV Podcast Gaming. And, um... As Kendrick Lamar would say about this podcast, this shit hard. <laughs> Nothing left to be said. We'll holler at y'all next week. Peace That's out. It. Shout out to LeBron. Billionaire Brown. Billionaire. Billionaire boy. Billionaire. Oh, yeah, yeah. Congrats, Brian. Let me get a dollar. Let me get a dollar. Let me get a dollar. Hey, yeah. Pray for me. Pray for book. Do everything I can.